everyone, my name is Chantel and welcome to another video. This month, the month of August, we have the August Smart Art Box. Yes, it actually arrived this month. So, I want to thank Smart Art for supporting the channel and sending me this box for, to review for you all. And if you want 10% off your first box, please check the link in the description box down below. But let's get into it because I'm excited. As always, we have the pamphlet. That looks very inky to me. Chinese brush painting with a quick start guide to get you started on the project with the materials and a skills challenge guide. And then here are the prompts. Cherry blossom, bamboo, dragon and bird. And this month I'm actually going to use all these prompts in one project. We have Higgins Fountain Pen India Ink, Spectrum Noir Illustrator Markers. They are twin tip artist markers. And these are the colors. There is a little palette. The sticker, which is very pretty, and a mini pop. A Tombow marker two Princeton brushes in size 4 and 6 and Masa 8x10 paper which is very thin textured paper as you can see. This is smooth and this is textured. Let's see what we can create with these beautiful supplies and the prompts. First off we have this Tombow pen. The only thing I know about this pen is that it is basically a calligraphy pen and it's from Tombow. That's all I can read. But I really, really like this pen. Next up, we have the Illustrator Markers by Spectrum Noir. These are absolutely beautiful markers and I really like the color selection of this muted set. However, the paper that was sent in this box was very, very thirsty and the alcohol ink feathers out. Not so much the ink that came in this box or the pen by Tombow, but specifically the alcohol markers. As you can see, these markers are pretty juicy. However, the last one, the yellow one, is dry. It is basically a dry marker. And I tried to revive it off camera with some isopropyl alcohol, but that didn't work. And as you can see here, the ink from the alcohol markers did bleed through onto the next page. Now moving on to the black ink that came in the box. I really like this ink. I would have liked it even more if it was waterproof after it dried. But I really like working with it and you get a really, really nice amount of it too. The brushes, I only used one. The number four not the number six because that was big enough for me and the number six is even larger than the number four so i only used the number four for this practice and actually for the project as well and i really like these brushes they are actually really good watercolor brushes so you will see me use these in the future I just wrote out the word hello in normal calligraphy, not in Chinese calligraphy, because that's a whole other ball game, and I don't really do Chinese calligraphy. However, I am gonna use all the prompts of this month in this project, and I am really excited how this turned out, and I hope you like it too. So let's get into the project. First, let's get rid of all the stuff that we don't need, unfold the box and cut out this square just out of the middle of the box, like so. And from this cutout, I am going to cut out the back and the sides to create a shadow box. After cutting out all the bits that I needed, I am just going to glue on the top, the base and the two sides of the shadow box to create the actual box. Mm -hmm. 
Then after all the glue is dry, I'm just cutting off the excess at the long sides. And this is what we have so far. Now the paper that was in the box came with this brown cardboard at the front and the back. So I thought why not use it for this project. So I'm covering the entire box in this cardboard so you don't see the address label and all the purple and white. And this is the entire box covered in cardstock. I am going to include a little color changing light into this project. For that, of course, I need to poke a hole in the box so I can let it come in from the back of the box. The base of this cup is the perfect circle that I need for this project, so I'm just gonna trace around it on the paper and cut out the circle. And now we are moving on to the first prompt of this project, and that is a dragon. I did use my eraser about two or three times on this paper, and I found that it peeled up a lot. This paper, however, is really, really fantastic for the Chinese calligraphy and the ink that came with it within the box. After cutting out the dragon, I'm just gonna line it with the Tombow pen and then color it in with the Spectrum Noir markers. I did wanna use the yellow in the wings because it's the lightest color in the pack. However, you can see that it is patchy and the marker itself is frayed. Moving on to the circle I cut up before with the ink and some water and the brush that came in the box, I am gonna make a moon. Now, because I am going to glue the dragon on top of the moon or flying in front of the moon and making that 3D with the cardboard from the box, I'm going to cut this piece of cardstock behind the moon just to give it a little bit more strength. Because I wanted the moon obviously against a black night sky, I'm going to cover the entire interior of the box with the black ink. Now maybe this is cheating, I don't know. You call it whatever you want, but from a previous box I'm using this white acrylic ink to create stars in the background. So here I made a boo-boo. I dropped a tile that had glue on it and I damaged the inside of the box. So I'm gonna have to cover that up with something and I will get there, I will fix this. Moving on to whatever I was doing and that is uh, piling up these little tiles so I can glue the moon on top. And as you can see, the hole is at the top there where I can poke the light through. So the light will shine from behind the moon. And here we are creating clouds to cover up that mistake that I made earlier. Also behind the clouds I am putting some little pieces of cardboard to give that the 3D effect I'm after. And putting some final dollops of glue at the back and then sticking it in. Now I can finally stick in the dragon and the moon as well. Moving on to the next prompt is Cherry Blossom. From the cardstock I am creating the branches and from the white paper I am creating the flowers. Now after cutting out the flower, or flowers, because I'm gonna make many of them, I'm pushing in with the back of a pencil into the palm of my hand to make it look 3D. Then sticking on the branches. And the individual flowers. And that is the second prompt done. 
Moving on to prompt three, which is a bamboo. Now I did the bamboo in all green to start with, but then I was like, I actually want to incorporate more of that yellowish green light color just to make it pop a little bit more. So you'll see me create both. You just saw me stick down the green, all green one at the bottom of the box, but I ripped it off and now I'm just gonna go with the all green and yellow one around the border. And then for the fourth and final prompt, this is bird. So here I am drawing out the bird in pencil and then going over it with the Tombow pen. Then cutting it out and sticking it inside the box on a branch. And this is it for the August Smart Art box. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this little shadow box. I really had fun with the supplies in the box this month. Don't forget you can get 10% off your first smart art box with a link in the description box below. I will also leave links to the individual products down below so you can check them out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Make sure to check out my socials and consider supporting me on Patreon. And if you're new here, welcome. Please don't forget you can click the subscribe button to become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.